Hey everybody, this is Tracy. I'm the co-owner of Destin Hot Yoga. And I want to welcome you today. I'm going to dedicate my practice today to um, a couple friends of mine that have had hip replacements recently. This is a sequence of four postures that are very focused on just opening up your hips and getting some blood flow into the hip joints so you can really get some healing inside those hips. So maybe preventing having the second hip having to be replaced. All right, first one we're gonna start on our backs. It's the figure four posture, it's the upside down pigeon. Take the right ankle, cross it over the left knee. Take your hand in between the triangle you created and then clasp your hands on top of your left knee. Drop your head back down and then start pulling that knee in towards your chest. Pull it in towards your chest, lift the left foot away from the floor, use the right elbow and the right knee crease to increase the stretch. Breathe into it and just relax the outer right hip where you're stretching. And now switch. Other side, left leg comes up, left hand goes through, right hand comes around, grabs onto the top of the left right shin, tuck your chin in, drop your head down, and then start pulling. Very gently pulling that knee in towards your chest, taking the right foot away from the floor, or that left elbow moves into the left knee crease, just to increase the stretch. All right, okay, just breathe into it, and then drop it back down. Second posture we're gonna do is called Baddha Konasana. Bound angle pose. Take the, the feet together, take your hands underneath your feet, sit up nice and straight, and then come forward. So your knees may be way up here if your hips are really tight. That's okay. Just keep working it every day a little bit more. So keep the spine nice and straight, shoulders down away from your ears, and then start pulling your upper body forward until you feel the stretch. Use your elbows in your inner thighs or on your shins and try to push your knees open even more. And you can play with the distance away that your feet can be. They can be way out here, or they can be all the way in here. All you're doing is trying to get a nice hip opening sensation, releasing the hips. And then you can round your back down and just try to go as low as you can. And just breathe into it. Five breaths is a good amount of time. Make sure they're long, slow, deep breaths. Six counts inhale, six counts exhale. And come back up. Now we'll go right into our pigeon pose. So let's take the left foot in front of us or take the right foot behind you. So the left leg can be as parallel to the front of your mat as possible. For those of you with really tight hips, you might want to bring that foot all the way in. It's more strain, it's more stretch with the foot closer to the front of the mat. And then just prop yourself up on your hips. Look back over your shoulder, make sure your foot is in the middle of your mat, untuck your toes. Take a nice deep inhale breath, stretch it up, and then come forward. Come forward to your elbows, and if that's enough for you, you can stay right there. If you want to go a little bit more, come all the way down to your forehead, or if you really want to get stretched, take that left arm and tuck it underneath the right arm, and then put your left ear on the mat. Take another five breaths here and just enjoy that releasing sensation in the hip. Good, and then you can push yourself back up. And then if you'd like to do a thigh stretch, this is a really good one. Just pull that right foot in, grab it with your right hand, and pull that knee or that foot in towards your hips. Good, release it. A nice way to transition out of pigeon pose is through a downward facing dog. Just push your hips up and back, push out of the floor and with a straight spine. And now bring the right foot forward. Again, adjust the foot back and forward depending on your flexibility. And then walk your left toes to the middle of your mat, untuck your toes, take a nice big inhale, stretch up, and then come forward. Onto your elbows, stay right here, or you can even go further all the way to your forehead. You can use your hands on your forehead, whatever feels good to your body today. Now you might notice that the left side is different from the right side. That's perfectly normal. What I would recommend doing is in your home practice when you're doing the stretch, whichever side is tighter, stay in that side longer. So instead of five breaths, stay in 10 breaths. So you can start working on balancing out the flexibility of your right side versus your left side. Good, all right, come back up and do your thigh stretch. So just reach your left hand back, pick up the left foot and just tug it gently so you can feel a nice stretch in your hip flexor and in your quadriceps. Good, now push up into a downward facing dog again and we'll do a little hip flexor stretch with a hamstring stretch. So lift, push out of your shoulder girdle and lift your hips up as high as you can and then bring that right foot forward. Let the left, left knee drop down and then peel your upper body up. Lean into it so your hips move forward but your upper body moves back so you're feeling a nice stretch in your hip flexor. And then from here, put your hands on the floor, let your foot peel up off the floor and do a little hamstring stretch. If you'd like to take your left hand around the outside edge of your right foot, then you're gonna get into your lower back, that QL muscle that can get really tight, pulling on your hips. 
and then your low back, creating low back pain. Good, and then we'll do the other side. So come forward, switch legs. So right back, drop the right knee down, peel your body up, and then lean your hips forward, lean your upper body back, and just breathe into that wonderful hip flexor, hip flex, hip flexor opening stretch. And then put your hands on the floor, let your foot come up off the floor, right hand on the outside edge of the left foot, and pull your upper body down, stretch. Breathe into it. Good. And that's it. That is your sequence that I would recommend doing every single morning. So it prevents, uh, so it actually opens up your hips every day of consistent practice. is really gonna be helpful for any kind of hip pain, lower back pain. This sequence is just wonderful to open up your hips and get the blood flow moving into your hip joints. So hopefully we'll see you soon on the mat at Destin Hot Yoga. Thanks again for watching. Namaste.